at Cindy Blunden, the girls' manager here at Harlow Rugby Club. This is remarkable here at nearly two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. As far as the eye can see, either way, girls playing rugby. That's a tremendous success here at Harlow, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. We are so proud of the girls and how far our section has come. This hasn't happened overnight, though. No, it's taken nearly four years to get to where we are. We started at about six right. girls four years ago, and now we're at over 50 in our section. Is there a common theme of why the girls like playing rugby? Because it's the best sport yeah. in the world, obviously, but I'm biased. <laughs> and um, how, so we're saying girls, um, what are the different age groups? And of course behind us is the women's team, is that right? Yes, we have three, uh, four sections now. We have under 12s, which are year seven. Then we have under 14s, which are years eight and nine. Then we have under 16s, which are 10 and 11 years at school. And then we have under 18s, which are years 11, uh, 12 and 13. So six formers. And the team behind us is the... The ladies. So lady. over 18s, they go to ladies. And uh, do they all... Are they all just play rugby, if you know what I mean? Or are they playing other sports as well? Are they, a you know... Full, a full range. We have some that are gold medalists in... I want to say ninjutsu, but it might be jujitsu. Um, we've got uh, athletes in uh, running we have all different you name it they do it swimmers Five, yeah. four, it enhances three, their rugby two, <laughs> did, did covid affect any particular age groups i know we're post covid now has anything happened we, there and... we had some drop out but we also had quite a few join we've uh, had big success in our 14s and 16s that's where we've had a real surge i would say the under 12s and the 18s have lost slightly just where the rfu changed the age groups and the age ranges because it used to be different age bands um, and getting into schools made it hard because we couldn't during Covid. And do these, faci these wonderful facilities, we are they, very lucky. Do these, does this help and if so why? I, it helps, it, we are treated exactly the same when the youth kick off, we kick off the same as the boys. Um, today is just we have completely taken over the club. Normally I don't have all the girls at the same place at the same time. They can be anywhere across Essex or Hertfordshire for their matches and Cambridgeshire. And it's clearly not a, a one-woman coaching team. There's a very vocal coach behind yeah. you there. You, you, um, <laughs> you've got a great support structure. We are really lucky. We have brilliant coaches. We have at least two in each age group. And in some, there are three. Um, it's just developing. It's, and I also had now, I'm going to have more helping me because I've been doing it as a one-man show for the management side. But now I've got some coming on board with me now as well. And finally, what's on your wish list here? Oh, my wish list. Oh, I don't know. I would just say to continue to grow the sport and the love. I think it's got to come from schools, firstly, because it's not on the curriculums. It's a choice to be on school curriculums. And if we can get it on school curriculums, I think girls will realise what they can do and achieve. And so finally, finally, it's not a closed club. You do no. have go give it a try sessions. We, so anybody sees the film? welcome at any time for us. We offer free sessions, so you can literally... Come and give it a go. The girls train at 7 till 8.30 on a Wednesday. And when we don't have matches, we're at 12.30 till 2 on a Sunday. But generally we're matches on Sundays. But you are welcome to give it a try. Cindy Blunder, thank you very much for your time.